What's up guys, Rees here from Rees3D.com. So in the previous video, we brought in our model sheet inside Maya, and in this video, we're going to start building the character. So to start building the character, we're gonna start with the head, which is also the upper body. As you can see, our character looks more like a rectangular box. So we can basically start with a cube and start building the rest of the body. I'll go ahead and choose Create Menu, and we'll go to Polygon Primitives, and there you will find Cube. Let me bring the cube up, and we can scale it bigger to fit almost the entire shape. Now you can build this based off a cylinder, but that becomes a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna stick to the cube. Now we need to make it a bit longer here. We can either scale it and adjust it, or I can also go to Vertex Mode, select these vertices down here, I can pull them down. Now at this point, I just want to make sure that I'm going to make uh, one side of the model and then I can duplicate the other side. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to push all these vertices right to the middle. Now I can press four to see the wireframe there. Okay, and I can also use the grid snap so that when I move, as you can see, it actually snaps right to these grid points. Okay, so by keeping that right in the middle, I can just press five once again to see um, the shaded mode. And I'm going to select this face and delete that. Looking good. Now what I wanna do is I want to make uh, all these corners a bit softer. And I can also little give a little bit of um, softness here instead of just making the entire thing to be completely boxy. Okay, now let me just add some divisions here. So I'll go to edge. I'm gonna select all these edges. So one, two, three. I can also do this, select, click and drag all these guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna press shift, right click and choose bevel edge, right? So that's basically going to make it like that. Now we don't want uh, these much of movement, so I can actually reduce the fraction a bit like so. Okay, we can also check from the side view um, how much uh, those movements you want. I can actually just go back, make this a bit more or less. Okay, I think that's fine. When we smooth it, it should look perfectly good. And I'll add a division here. So let's say two divisions so that, as you can see, we've got all those uh, corners to be for four-sided faces, that's perfectly fine. So now, if I just go ahead and press three, you can see that it has a nice smooth edges, okay? Now, compared to the top, we can actually make the bottom to be a bit um, narrower. So let me just press three, sorry, let me press four here so that we can see the wireframe. And I can just go ahead and select these guys by right-clicking and choosing the vertex select all these vertices and I can use my scale tool to make it smaller like so. Even up top here, we can also move it manually just to give an uneven appearance instead of just keeping them in the same line, we can also pull them to different places. And once that is done, we can actually make the other side of the character. So to do that, I'm going to choose um, mesh and choose mirror here. Let's go to the options to make sure that we're uh, doing everything correctly. It's all in default. And X axis is what we're going to mirror and hit mirror. So that's basically going to make the duplicate and it will basically combine them into a single object. So now if I press three, as you can see, that's the kind of result that we get. Perfect. Now, if you want to make this uh, to be more uh, circular, you can also add more divisions and you can adjust those faces. Uh, but keep in mind, keeping this uh, flat right here will make things much easier for us to create the eyes and mouth and stuff. OK, so next thing that we need to do is we need to create the leg here. OK, so for starting with the leg, the easiest thing is to start again from a cube. Let me just press five here so that I can see everything. And I can also go ahead and choose Create and Polygon Primitives Cube. Cool. Let me just pull this up, use my Move tool. 
Now at this point we need to create two extrudes. Okay, so you can consider this to be a universal rule and the method that I'm telling you is going to work almost for all kinds of character that you have, right? So to create a leg, have a cube placed right there and right click to choose your face. Select the top face and select the uh, front face by pressing the shift key. Now, if I press shift right click and choose extrude phase, and that's basically going to extrude like this. And all I need to do is make sure that you turn off keep faces together. And that will basically give us two extrudes. One is going up for the rest of the leg and one is going forward. That is for our uh, toes, right? So all I can do is just select this guy, pull this down by using the move tool. So that's the move tool. I just press W key to access the move tool faster. Okay, so that way we can actually start to see the leg uh, getting the shape. So let me just pull this up all the way there and I will basically check from this um, side view. I can also uh, turn on something called uh, X-ray here. So that will basically show me the character um, along with the background um, image. So from here we can actually do an extrude. So press shift, right click and choose extrude face and that will help us to scale it bigger. And that way we can uh, place him right there. Now let me just check the same thing for my front view so you can see that it does not match. So what I can do is I can actually pull these guys a bit closer here. Okay. And maybe I'll make these guys a bit smaller or maybe just scale it just in this axis because from the front from the side view yeah here also it is bigger so I can also stretch it out like that now keep in mind the drawing that we have may not 100% match so you can make a decision about to follow exactly based on the sketch or you want to make changes by yourself Okay, so that's your freedom. I'll just pull this to the front and I'll just push this little backwards here. So that way you can get the exact shape that you wanted. Let's do the same thing here in the front view. And here I can see that I'm not uh, creating the leg the exact way in the front view. Uh, but if you do want to do that, you can actually stretch it like that. Let me turn on the um, X-ray mode here also so that I can have a better look at what's happening. And I need to push these guys here. And I can actually push this guy here and I can do a little extrude here to create the rest of the shape. Okay, so let me just go back to our uh, perspective view. And from here, I need to do that extrude. There you go. And from the front view, I will adjust these guys by pushing um, this vertex. Actually, these vertices, there are two. So instead of just clicking, you need to click and drag. Let me show you what happens sometimes. Most of the uh, first time uh, modelers will have this difficulty. So if I just click here and move, you can see that it is not moving both these vertices. Okay, so this is something very important. So if you want to move both these vertices, you need to just click and drag. So that will make, basically make a selection and that selection will move both of them together. Okay, so based on the requirement that you have, you need to choose these different options. So now I want to turn, um, turn on the grid snap and click and drag. So that basically snaps right onto that point. And I'll do the same thing here and I'll turn that off. Now I can basically align that to the same height here. So let's just go back here and I want to press three to see how that looks when it's being smoothed. I need to make more extrudes uh, to take care of the area up there. And now I need to select these two um, faces. Shift right click extrude and pull this up. Okay that is starting to look good. Now keep in mind, um, we're actually going to build the um, 
the shirt and the pants with the help of this mesh okay and so the head that we have should basically stay inside um, this shape so I'm just going to push this up so this could be uh, the belt area okay so I'll just bring these two guys down basically that's the belt area and I want to make a little bit of change here now keep in mind always try to keep as less number of faces as possible uh, because we can add details in any time we want but if you add too much then it becomes difficult to remove them okay so try to keep as less number of faces as possible when you start up and then you can add more later okay so here we need more details so i'll add an edge loop here so to add an edge loop select the object shift right click and choose insert edge loop tool cool so let me just do that and that adds a detail here um i need to either scale it inside or bring it out now when you do that you will also notice that these two vertices actually moved inside so we need to bring that back um, instead of just clicking on this um, grid snap i'm going to press x key okay click and drag now keep in mind don't use this middle area that'll go a little bit weird uh, better to use just the axis that you want to snap so i'll do the same thing here press x and snap there that looks good now we can just smooth it out and see how that looks yeah that looks that starts to look nice okay so um, let me just add a couple of details here now keep in mind uh, any place that you want to have a bend you need to have three divisions meaning that uh, this is a place where we will have to bend the leg so there you need to have three edge loops right and here you need to bend the character you need to have three edge loops right so um, let's say we can consider um, this one as one of the edge loop uh, but provided that it actually runs through this uh, shape here so what I'll do is I'll actually add these edge loops and we can make further changes later so I'll add one two three and four so that starts to look good and we need to basically delete um, one of these edge loops because we have a triangle here and a triangle here so we need to remove those triangles and to do so what i'll do is i'll basically delete this guy i'm actually using the delete key or you can also use the backspace key to do the same thing okay and um or i can also add an edge loop right here yep i think that's better uh, instead of deleting these two i'm going to add an edge loop So to do that, I'm going to take the same tool and add one like so. And I will also add one from here to here. And now if I add an edge loop right in the middle, so insert edge loop tool, and I want to add an edge loop right here. You notice that it does not go above this. Otherwise, what will happen is it could have gone all the way up here so to avoid that we could have we can we can do this and now let's just go ahead and choose the multi-cut tool select that guy select this guy and connect them select this guy and select this guy and connect them and um, whenever we add an edge loop we need to smooth that uh, shape so let's just pull this out pull this out okay and this is the uh, left leg of the character so I can actually move this slightly to the right and I can also move this guy like so that's perfect now if you want you can actually make further changes here let me just select this guy move him like so very small subtle change there and then uh, let's start working here so we can basically delete this one and delete this one. So you can see that we are back with um, 
four-sided faces in all the places instead of triangles okay so now because we added those um, two points we can actually um, push these guys a bit closer okay and push these guys a bit closer too so that'll create a bit more softer rounder result you can also do that here a little bit and a little bit here let's just press 3 now we started all these process just to get three edge loops here so let's do that so I can simply add an edge loop right here in the middle there you go so now you can see that we have basically three edge loops you can also slide this a little bit slide edge tool and you can just move this a bit down yep that's perfectly fine so now let me just go ahead and select that press 3 so that you can see we have a nice um, looking leg okay now we also need to create uh, other edge loops for the other joints that we will have uh, one is going to be right here in the middle which is the knee area so I'll add three edge loops so one easy way to add three edge loops is just to create one edge loop first right where you want it okay and then you can also use another tool called um, offset edge loop tool so you'll find offset edge loop tool by going to right click by shift key and there you will find offset edge loop tool so if I click right here and you can see that it actually adds two edge loops one above and one below cool so now uh, just to have a little bit of difference we can actually push these guys a bit out okay and the middle one I can make it a bit smaller not too small just a little small let me just pull this like so and then I can also push this a bit to the front so now when I smooth it, it should it shows a little bit more detail that it is a knee area. Now if you want to show that the character has got a little bit more detail, you can actually add an edge loop here, make it a bit bigger so that the muscle kind of uh, appearance will show up. Now in my case, I'm going to leave that as it is. Let me just add two more edge loops right here. So one, and I can make it a bit smaller. And I'll add one more right about that area okay now we can also do a little bit of slide edge here so let me just select these two pull this down select these two just the two not the entire edge loop and use the middle mouse button to slide it up and down not too much I just want a little bit of movement okay and I can just manually place them in a different place if I want and I can also give a little space between these guys by pushing this a little bit down now this is the next uh, bending area so that I have created those differences now if you want to create a toe you can also create an edge loop here okay and if you want to bend this area you again need to have three edge loops okay so keep this as a universal rule wherever you want to have a bend uh, create three edge loops you just want to push these guys a bit down like so good and I want to add one more edge loop right in the middle. Uh, if you don't want to create this little uh, difference, you can actually leave it as it is also. That should not be a problem. Let's just go ahead and press 3. And everything looks good, except the fact that the bottom looks a bit rounded. So I want to have it a bit more sharp. So what I'll do is I'll actually select all these faces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And do a little extrude here. So 
that should make it a bit more sharp. Now, if you think it's going too much inside, you can also select all these um, vertices and you can pull them up. You can basically put them exactly where you want it. Press three now, let's see how that looks. Yeah, now that looks more planted on the floor, more um, perfect leg. Okay, so now uh, let's start building the upper area. Okay, so this is our um, belt area. I can also adjust these guys a bit um, just to fit with the same shape as we have for um, the body. So I'll use the edge here, push this closer, push this closer. And if needed, uh, we can also create an extra uh, mesh instead of creating the belt from the same uh, object. Um, I think I need to add at least one edge loop here. Insert edge loop tool, let's add one right here in the middle. Now if you are adding these edge loops, you need to also uh, tweak the rest of the areas here. So I need to select these two guys, push them inside a bit. Actually, I need to select all these guys. So let me just um, till here, select all of them. Till here, select all of them and push them slightly in. Basically to round off the shape. Okay, so I'll do the same thing here. Okay. You can further make tweaks uh, based on the requirement. You can select these two, make them get closer. These two, make them get closer. I think this is already gone too close. These two guys can get closer. Okay, so let's press three, see how that looks. Um, let me just add one more extrude here to see it much better. And this could be the uh, shirt area. So let me just push all these guys up. Now at this point to see how the um, number of edges we have on both these models, I'm going to turn on the wireframe on the shaded mode so that we can basically see how many lines we're having from there and how many do we have here just to match up so that we will get almost the same exact shape. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and select edge for this guy. So select edge, select one, two, three and four, um, I think that should be fine. Or maybe I'll just add this one also. And for this, we're going to create a, a bevel edge here. Same thing that we did for that guy. And I'll add one segment. So that basically um, creates the somewhat similar appearance there. I think that looks good. Maybe we can adjust the fraction a little bit. And we can basically align that um, based on the vertex. So maybe not that much of fraction, maybe just a little. Yes. Okay. So now at this point, I just want to um, press 3 and see how that looks. We need to fix this area. That's fine. Um, I will just delete the inside. face one two three four delete that so that basically when I smooth it it does not go in and it stays in the same place okay so that looks good I think I have um, a couple of these faces here Let me delete that also to make things much easier for us to see okay so now um, I'll go I'll have to pull these guys a little bit out 
can also check from the side view here. Let me select all these guys, pull them slightly out. And we can have this little gap between the um, shirt and the body. Pull this out like so. That looks perfectly fine. Now, anyways, we will create uh, the belt and the um, collar and everything with a separate object, which will make things much easier for us to work with. Um, I'll have to get rid of these guys now. Now, to do this, I'm going to um, select multi-cut tool. I'm going to drive this line to this side. So I'll have to go ahead and select that one. Go here. Okay, which will basically create a triangle here. We can delete that um, in just a minute. And I want to do the same thing from here to here. Okay, so now this way we will be able to get rid of this edge and this edge. Okay, so as you can see, now it becomes easier for us to get rid of most of these guys. So now all I have to do is um, select all these vertices make sure that you're not selecting anything from behind okay and shift right click and choose merge vertices and there you'll find merge vertices okay or I think merge vertices to the center I don't know let's try this one yeah I can give it threshold here yep. that fixes that issue so you can see that we have four-sided faces here four-sided faces here four-sided faces here four-sided faces here now we'll have to deal with two triangles okay so one triangle here one triangle here now uh, this one we can remove just by adding an edge loop from here to here okay so to do that all I have to do is go back to multi cut tool start from the center here and I can basically add it all the way till here or should I push him onto this now that will again mess up more stuff so I'll just drag and drop here and that way we will now have four-sided face, four-sided face, four-sided face. We can also select it and smooth it and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. No issues at all. Okay. And as you can see, all of them have just four-sided faces. Now we need to do the same thing on this side and we will basically end up with an extra triangle here and we can uh, connect that extra triangle to this one. All right, so let's get the same job done here. I'll go ahead and choose multi-cut tool, connect this one to this one, press enter, connect this one to this one, press enter, and then I can basically delete one, delete two. Okay, so now what we need to do is we will go to select vertex, select all these vertices, shift right click merge vertices merge vertices there i can just increase this threshold so that it basically snaps there and i can just adjust it to fit in exactly where you want it or basically i can push this guy inside and like so now for the back side we can actually give a little bit of uh, space so I'll select this push this a bit backwards push this a bit down and this vertex can also go a bit back okay so let's go ahead and press 3 see how that looks press 3 that looks perfectly fine. You can actually turn off the uh, wireframe. Yep, that looks good. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn on the wireframe again. Okay, so we have one little triangle here. We can also remove that by adding a couple of edge loops there or just by deleting this edge. So delete that. That fixes the problem.
I can just push these guys up. Let me just go ahead and press three and that's so that's our leg now all i need to do is i can make a mirror to the other side now before making the mirror we can actually go to edit and choose delete all by type history just to clear out all these history information there and before i mirror I, let me just bring the pivot point right to the center by using the insert key or you can use the d key if you're using mac computer let me just go ahead and choose um mesh choose mirror here so that will basically make the other leg for us so this completes this tutorial and the next one we will look at how to create the details of the clothes okay so until then see you have a nice day